Oh, nice bar. Just hooked up to a black dewy. Little quake vibe through the rock. <laughs> you gotta be happy with that. Oh yeah. For a group of keen fishing mates, it's hard to be coming together for a fishing adventure and North Queensland is high on the bucket list for most. The anticipation builds with the readying and rigging of gear, planning the fishing sessions ahead and finally launching the boat on the first morning of the trip. The adventure, mateship, laughs and sledging are all part of the journey and this adventure had the added anticipation and excitement of fishing a new lure. A lure that's been years in the making with a comprehensive design process and the rigorous research, development and testing that you expect from TT Fishing. The Quake power vibe is here and it's going to shake things up. Fish on. So we'll just go through a few things with the new TT Quake vibes. So 4x Japanese strong hooks, stainless steel plate through wire and then on all of the translucent models they've got a holographic uh, finish on the weights which looks pretty cool. So we've got three different weights and sizes in the Quake Vibes, the 110 mil at 36 grams, the 95 at 26 grams, and then the little fella is 75 mil at 13 grams. So they come in 22 different colors to fish a variety of different spots. There he is, little barramundi. Nice little barra there to start off with, just on that little tree stand. Oh, he's eaten that all the way down his mouth. So we just had a bit of tide pushing on the front of that tree stand there, so we're just vertically hopping these TT quakes um, at the front there, and this one just inhaled that little guy. Another little barrow there. Next cast for you, Joe, so I might need to change to a different colour. He's inhaled that again. Here's the pliers. Oh, there's the next one, he's a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger, oh, I don't need to change colours, that black one's done well there. Oh, nice little. Hold this guy in here. Oh, pretty hot little bite here. Jace just cast in again, straight on again. Where's the rest of him, Jace? <laughs> oh, well, colour doesn't seem to matter. How's that? We've just come into that creek and within a few casts we've got three barra, so carry on, see if we can pluck a few more. So as basic as this, a little bit of run-in tide pushing on this uh, front of the tree here, so We'll just do a cast, cast in, let him sink down to the bottom, try not to get snagged into that tree, hits the bottom there, double hop, there's a bite, and there he is there. Oh, Chase has missed one in there, another little fish, good fun on this light gear. Pop them up here and get the hook out and try and get another one. It's a little lure at 75 mil, but still with the strong hooks, it's it's a good option up here and these northern systems when the fish are a little bit shut down that little shreddy loved it so guys when you're coming up to the cape i'm just going to run through a couple different options for you what rod and reels to bring first one is a light spin rod this is tt rod and a kuma reel we've got 20 pound braid up to 60 pound leader uh, you can flick vibes plastics 
do a bit of both. Um, nice and light, so you can feel the bite and feel the vibe. Second option is a TT 8 to 15 kilo rod, 30 pound braid, bait caster setup. Something a bit heavier for your deeper snags. We've got 80 pound leader on this one. Um, got a few bigger fish scuffing the leader pretty quickly, so we've upgraded to 80, just in case that bigger fish comes along. So there you go, that's two different setups you can bring up to the Cape. A lot of people come up bringing really heavy gear. It's a bit of a misconception. Nice and light, easy to use all day. You can get in and out of the snags and you can pull some really good fish out. So we were in the river mouth just earlier, fishing the incoming tide. Fish has slowed down a bit, so we've come out to a rock bar. A good way to approach rock bar fishing, casting up and bringing it back with the current. We found the fish on the edge of the rocks. We're just casting out, letting it hit the bottom, small twitches, trying to keep it in their face. And yeah, we're starting to get a few bites now. So we'll do a nice big long cast. Watch the belly of the line, wait for it to hit the bottom. And then we'll start doing our hops. Let it hit the bottom, little hop. Doesn't have to be too aggressive, but just making that contact with the bottom is what we're looking for. Oh, nice barra. Nice fish. Oh, nice fish on the rock bar. That was worth a stop. Beautiful fish. Healthy as. So what Declan was doing is what we were talking about earlier. Casting in small little twitches in between the rock bars. And yeah, it definitely works. So good to see. Nice fish. Yeah, I nearly went off. So I'm from the old two fishes. Oh! It's all happening here. <laughs> oh. Nice fish. Just slowly hopping that quake over the rock bar. Oh, I think I just felt a hook pull. Yeah, stop there, Dick. I'm going to stop puffing. And that happened. Yep. Jumping? Jumping creature? No. Nah. But very shallow. Right. Just hooked up to a black dewy. He's done it again. Fortunately, I lost the last one, but that happens. I'm just up there, Dick. Just again hopping that little quake vibe through the rocks. Nice way to wrap up a day. We're going to be here a while, I think. So when you're hooked up on a shallow rock bar, always good to get off it. Do yourself a favour and come up the cape. This could be you. Big run, big head shakes. Or two. Here we go. Nice fish. I'll hold him up there. You're good. Nice fish. Oh, that's a big fish. <laughs> you got to be happy with that. Oh, yeah. Here in Croken, far north Queensland, TT Quake vibe, and this is what you get. Get that hook out of him and get him back. Finish off a nice day. I'm going to spear him back in, there's lots of sharks, and he's just going to kick straight away. Nice fish. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> uh,